That's fair. Okay, to be fair, I have I have played a little bit of seven, to be fair. Yeah, of course the original. I'm pretty much set. I'm all set. I don't know. A little bit. <laughs> oh, we did end up taking Bic, eh? Oh, God. Um, I'd say Nyx is, uh, Nyx would probably rotate between being out on deck and in their cabin tinkering with, uh, trying to work on making a new but smaller gun. <laughs> uh, I think Franklin... Oh, excuse me. Uh, Franklin would... <coughs> Excuse me, be on, kind of like um, going back and forth, kind of on deck, um, trying to just talk with a bunch of people, take his mind off things, um, but also maybe kind of just lean over the side and just watch the water as they go. Franklin is pre pretending that it didn't hurt, but it just it went straight to the bone. <laughs> He's just like, oh, yeah, the water is beautiful, you know. Yeah. BK, how long have you, uh, how, how long have you been a pirate? Oh. Hmm.
Well, hey, you know, I I respect it for having your scam business run for as long as it did, seemingly. Um, but you know, it's it's impressive that you still haven't <laughs> managed to get caught yet. But I'm still gonna give you that respect. Um, of course. Hey, man, you ever been to um? You know the Pendrix up north? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course you would. I don't know, man. It's just... Royalty, man. It's just... They're so... Just like... They can be... Yeah. <sighs> Fortunately, though, it doesn't seem like um, their morals are up to muster with their money, but... Oh well, what are you gonna do? I get you. But... <laughs> it's easier, yeah. More convenient that way. But... I mean, if we ever do need, um... You know... If me and my friends ever need a destruction job, <laughs> then I know just the person to call, don't I? Well, uh, you know, it's, it's nice to have someone to just talk to. I feel like, you know, the world's descending into shit again. So, it just helps to take my mind off things. Um, you're an alright guy. I don't know why we got off on the wrong foot at first. All right. Well, I'm going to I'm going to go and get some rest down below. Uh, it was nice. Nah, man, it's just I don't know. You seem to have this predisposition towards royalty, you know? Well, yeah. They um my family is uh in the west. Um they're um I don't know if you've ever heard of the last name Violis. Yeah, well, it's probably better you don't uh, head out there because they are exactly what you described. But scamming rich bastards. Yeah, uh, you know, you get used to it. Well, um, I don't know how uh, how much longer until we arrive, Captain? All right. Well, I should probably get some rest. Um, you take care of yourself, Captain. Franklin nods and uh, just walks off. Nothing. <laughs> 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 Nothing. No. 
No, Cap no Captain Picky, I'm not laughing. <laughs> Franklin's gonna go get some rest, probably in one of the cabins. Yeah, um, probably just a little bit. Uh, in the background, you can hear Nick's um, lots of clinking around, a few what sounds like sparks, uh, a bit of like Elvin in uh, common swearing every once in a while. And then there are moments where it sounds like things are going uh, pretty well, but it's just kind of a, it, it, it's a usual uh, it's it's just a usual Nick's moment. Um, some is probably going to be quiet, like, but they're like if it's moments where uh, like something actually ends up like nicking Nick's. Oh, that's a mouthful. Um, it's a ranged volume. We'll say that. Like, some of it's quiet, some of it's loud, that it could probably be heard all throughout the lower deck. Oh, nice. I think Franklin um, just occasionally will, will look around and like put his hand to his sword and look around and just be like, what's that? And then he's like, ah, it's probably just Nyx. And just sits back. <laughs> Eventually, to letting him process being like, oh shit, that's probably Nyx. <laughs> Yeah, uh, basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make a, uh, a like a palm pistol, like a like a small uh, firearm, or more, actually it's more like a tiny firearm. Mm-hmm. Guns. And also, I'm probably not going to be able to gallivant around with Rebellion and Bright Eye on, <laughs> on hand. Exactly. <sighs> oh. Uh, is everything all right? All right. Um, I'm gra I'm grabbing rebellion and heading straight up. Yeah, head up as well.
Oh shit. Yeah, um, I think uh, we can handle it. Um, leave it to me and my partner here. Oh, do you? All right. You, you see Nyx kind of looks at all this and it's like, finally, someone else with explosives. <laughs> oh, shitty initiative roll again. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, nice. Sahagandas. <laughs> Damn. Okay, okay. Nine. Nine. Did seventeen. Hey, well, guys. Hey, having the alert feet is very freaking helpful. Yeah. Damn. Double damn. Jesus oh, Christ! Let's let Evangeline do all the work. She rolled a nat 20 on initiative? No? Or 18. Said... Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Dirty 20. Yeah, damn. She's gonna aim at she's gonna aim at the Hagen Doss. Get the Hagen Doss. <laughs> <laughs> eh. Oh, finally, a lot. <laughs> we get to do a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Oh, shit. Wow. Damn. Yeah. It's awesome. Oh, shit.
It's like a freaking bogo stick lance. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh shit. Jesus Christ. Okay. So we got the two Sahagandas and a Harpy, right? <coughs> Alright. Well, I am first going to move a little bit out of the way. And then I'm going to try and take a sharpshooter uh, shot at the Harpy with Rebellion. Get him. Which draws. Shit, this, is, this would just make this a straight d20 roll. Go figure. Okay, here we go. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Okay, so... Oh, shit! Hey. That's a 19! Is oh. that a... Yeah, that's to hit. To, to hit the harpy. Fucking really. Okay, so whatever. All right, so whatever the d10, so whatever the damage roll is, I think I get to add plus ten to the damage. <laughs> yeah. So okay, so that's pretty shitty for a roll. That's four plus ten is going to be fourteen points of piercing damage to the harpy. Uh, I, all right, you know what? I'm going to plug in my mouse to do this. Give me one sec. Yes, I have a mouse for my. Yeah, I've got a mouse. All right, and of course, because I plugged it in, it has to load again. Okay, here we go. Come on, let me click you, damn it. Yeah, no, it's not letting me. I think it might be a DM thing, yeah. No, no I'm, I'm not seeing it either. Yeah. We're good. No, it's good. So yeah, it's uh, 14 points of piercing damage for the Harpy. And uh, I'm guessing it's still up from that, isn't it? Okay. Uh, oh yeah, I do still have... What, I have two attacks now, so I'm going to take... I'm gonna take a regular shot at the harpy. Shit, that's only a 14. No, this is part of my action. I yeah. got that at level five, baby. I think I did as well. <laughs> I think paladins get extra attack, question mark? Yeah, they, I think they... They should. I think so. <laughs> so you said the 14 does hit, right? Okay. Yes, I'm still aiming at the Harpy. So that's going to be another 9 damage. So it's going to be a total of 23 points of damage to the Harpy. Okay, so add it. So, all right, so it's an extra nine. Mm hmm. 
That is cool. And a couple of shots. All right. Uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of my turn. Mm -hmm. I can still shoot that. Bring it on, come on. That is not gonna hit. No? <laughs> that does not hit. Thunder. Oh wow. Wow, wow, wow. Thunder. Oh yeah. I think that yeah, I think that is fifth level. So oh, come on. Where's the thunder? I love the new sort of, um, yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Which half damage. <sighs> That's the math. That, that, that's kind of not a bitchin epic mm -hmm. we got garlic and then we've got the sahagan dust Oh god. Garlic Hagen does. Franklin looks to Nyx and says, Uh, you got that? You think you can handle that? It's just a... Yeah, Nyx just looks over to him and is like, It's just a broad with pheasant, feathers and wings. I think I can shoot this. All right. <laughs> um... Oh, trust me, you're not the first one, darling. <laughs> Franklin goes up. To, <laughs> Franklin goes up to the Tagwin that attacked Vesta and swings his sword. He can attack twice now because he's fifth level. Uh, attack one, thirteen. 
will miss, I'm assuming. Uh, the number five. This one. Oh, hits. Uh, hey, 12 damage. Holy shit. Hey. I still have my second attack, so I turn around and hit the other one with the, uh, still sharp end of my sword. <laughs> 22. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Carlo, where were these rolls when we were fighting garlic? (laughs) I know, man. I wish. But that's only... (sighs) Yeah, that's my turn. (laughs) God, I wish I was doing this well earlier. (laughs) No shit. I mean, this is the first time I've been able to pull off sharpshooter successfully, so... There. Hmm. This harpy's dead. (laughs) Damn. That is a resilient harpy. I'd say wisdom. I'd say wisdom. Uh, is that everybody? Shit. You got it. God damn it. Oh. 13. Nat 1. Ah. I'm screwed. She just Hit it with the lamp. Oh. I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot the broad. I'm shooting. I'm shooting the harpy. <laughs> Just looks. Unlike you, I rock it in a dress. That's 14 <laughs> hit. 
11 points of piercing damage. <laughs> hey! Okay, so... Oh, shit. I... Alright, so what I'm... so how this is going to go is that Nyx is going to look a little... is going to look very annoyed at this harpy. And just and yeah just kind of looks at it and just goes unlike you i rock it in a dress just gets the gun directly at the uh aimed at the head pulls the trigger and just knocks that bird right out of the sky Oh, hell. Oh, that's fine. Lucky for me, I still have the rest of my action. Do do This intermission brought to you by my reincarnation of Monty Python. And the Holy Grail. All right, we'll pull it to draw. Ooh, something else for me to shoot at. There you go. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's fine because I still have one more attack. And I still have one more bullet in the gun, so I'm gonna aim it at the goddamn Griffin. That's a 19. Uh, a 19. Uh, that's shit. That's uh, six points of piercing damage, and I'm going to use my bonus action to reload. Alright, and with that reload... Uh, yeah, after using my bonus action to reload, that'll be the end of my turn. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, damn. Nice. This is a bird. Holy shit. Oh, shit. We eating good tonight, man. <laughs> Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. <laughs> <laughs> 
Griffin. Franklin walks up to the big bird and hits him with the sword. Attack one is a 21 to hit. It's only going to be eight damage. Attack number two is going to miss. So he swings it down. <laughs> Uh, cutting into the body and leaving behind a slash. Um, that's it. Nyx just only sees the second strike and is just like, What the fuck was that? Pay attention when I do cool things. Now I'm gonna mess it up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just want first to roast the chicken and here you are just limping your sword around. Did you not see? <clears throat> Did you not see when I hit it the first time? I think that was a Did pretty solid hit. Shoot... Did you not see me shoot the harpy? Okay, forgive I messed up once, okay? I messed up once. Shut up and just keep killing this thing. I, I would be done already if you <laughs> weren't distracting me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I call, it, call it my own personal vicious mockery. Fuck off. <laughs> this is why. This is why. This is why rules don't get along with you, huh? No, I don't get along with them. And this is why you can't have nice things, Frankie. <sighs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, okay. I, okay, this is, this is just me kind of messing around. But if I ever get the magic initiate feat, I am so getting vicious mockery of the king. <laughs> That's all I can do with my turn, sir. <laughs> yes. Nice. So Oh, god damn. That's sad. Wait, wait, wait. Is Watch Together tweaking out for you, or...? Oh, the video got taken down. That's so yeah. sad. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, after the fight, Nyx is going to look 
at their dress and the kind of now recent splatter on it from shooting harpies and it's just going to be like god damn it I just bought this thing that's that's unfortunate oh well do you have I mean you gotta have some sort of like I don't know if you're magic but you can clean it up I'm sure Vesta's got something I'm a tinker not a mage alright well Don't you? I feel like you would no, have. You know, no, you know how to use magic. I'm the one that knows how to blow stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you. I don't see here. you shooting a hoppy. <laughs> okay, let's head below deck, Ruvik. <laughs> I feel like yeah. someone. Someone's got to have prestidigitation or something. Isn't that a... Can't paladins get that as a spell? I don't know if they can, actually. I don't have it, because I didn't think it would ever come in here. Oh, paladins don't have cantrip. Oh, shit, that's right. Half and oh. third casters don't get cantrips. Sad. I, I know, I find it completely bullshit, but... Yeah. Oh, well. And, um, either way, um, after that, Nyx is just going to head back below decks, slightly fuming as... The fact that there is now, and this uh, keep in mind, the dress also has a little bit of grease on it, Sid, and looks a little worn from the play, considering that Nix has been working on tinkering this thing for like two days straight. So it's not like the dress is at this point in pristine condition, but for some reason, Nix is slightly fuming that there is now a little bit of harpy splatter. That could have been said better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And Nyx is just gonna just kind of storm down below decks. D did rebellion still in hand? Yeah, Franklin will grab his shit and go downstairs. Yeah, uh, you as well. It was really helpful with the cannons that made the fight really easy. All right. Appreciate you, Captain. And, and I go, yep, I go back to gun tinkering. No worries. You're good, you're good. Yeah. Anyway.
anyway, while you're getting that situated, I'll say that uh, once uh, Nyx hears that uh, land is in sight, they're going to head up to main deck, kind of stare out. Uh, watch as the um, sights of Midgard kind of draw closer and closer. Um, I don't know if any of the other party members would be on deck at that point as well, but that's kind uh, of what Nyx does as soon as they hear the uh, hear the land ho. Frank, uh, he will walk up the stairs, kind of put his hand on Nyx's shoulder and look out. Um, just be like, do you think you're ready to see them again? Oh, fuck no. <laughs> um. Well, uh. <sighs> I mean. And by the way, I don't know if I ever said, but totally didn't mean what I said the other day. Uh, about Royals not getting along with you and stuff. Oh, no, don't worry about that. Honestly, when you live on the road for... When you live on the road like I have, you learn that... Talking, uh, smack, to, uh, talking smack with others is just one way to kind of pass the time, and... Honestly, after I left uh, Shinra, they hadn't really had much of a chance to interact with royals as much. And, uh, I mean, I've spent most of my time in the lowest, in the lower districts with more unlucky common folk. It's kind of one of the reasons why I. Like to ha why I like to spend more time around that area. Is that's why the night that or the day that I walked out, uh, when we realized when I realized that the wind crystal was here in Shinra, I immediately made my way back to my old apartment in the lower district. It's also one of the reasons why when the fire happened in Dune, I immediately made my way down to the lower district first. The people like them treated me more of an equal than anyone had ever for a long time. And honestly, the only, person, the only other person that I can think of, aside from my brother, that treated me more of an equal than as someone of high stature was... Uh, this may sound a little ridiculous, but it was an old servant of mine. Um, kind of a gypsy-esque fellow. Um, he was the one who helped me escape the, uh, escape the estates and take me to Midgar, posing as just getting supplies uh, for the estate. Hmm. Hmm. Well, uh, what do you... Before we, oh, sorry. <laughs> what do you uh, imagine you say when you see them? What do you imagine they'll say? Well, I'm sure as soon as my parents see me, they'll probably want to host some sort of party or soiree in honor of my return. Um. God, so I don't even remember who exa exactly they wanted me to marry off that uh, marry off to. Um, like I said, it was someone that my father knew was nobility or somewhere thereabouts, and he always handled the political side of family things he always handled the business 
whilst my mother made sure that me and my brother were, as she put it, properly educated to fit the Pendrick name. Well, they, uh, at least your mother sounds like a lovely person, but of course I don't know her personally, so I don't know if that's true. She had her moments. Um, I mean, all things considered, she was my mother, but some, I will say that some of her methods were possibly more harsher than most. I mean, both my parents wanted not, want nothing more than to have their names spoken by every noble within Shinra, if not even within all of Elian. It's one reason that they helped support the production of airships, possibly multiple other uh, side businesses that I'd never even heard of, but all I can say is that I was glad to get out when I did, and I was glad to have the servant's help, and last thing, and all things considered, he was closest thing that I had to a friend within the cast within the estate and before we parted ways he actually was the one who gave me this uh they sling uh their rifle bright eye off their shoulder holding it out um you can see that slightly faded on the uh stock itself on the woodstock itself is um the word bright eye like have decently faded but it looked like it was kind of carved into the name in a not not really a uh not really a decent handwriting this looked like it was done by someone who wasn't uh properly educated for their life and Nix kind of looks at it and goes, Funny enough, I only, funny enough, I ended up naming this rifle after the servant. Um, like I said, he was a gypsy, so he had his own, he had his own name from, with, from within his own little clan, and of course, looking at the estate, parents had to change that to something else but when it was just me and him I always addressed to him as bright eye and I just figured it was do a sense of honor to make sure that his name lived on through my journeys in some manner and that's kind of how this how I got this Well, Bright Eye has served us fairly well over the course of our adventure, so. Um, glad that, uh, you know, you were able to get away from that as well. Um, you sure you just, you sure you don't want to just burn the whole place down and then take the crystal and leave? Trust me, it would be a wondrous idea to burn the whole place down, but if the crystal is within the crystal tower itself, then our best bet is to get that information and safe passage through my parents, which the only way to kind of really do that is to go through this whole charade, which I know Evangeline has kind of been against ever since I brought it up, but at this point, it's 
our safest option. Now, whether it's the best one, I don't entirely know, but for now, it's our safest. Yeah. Well, I... I think out of all of us, um, you would know kind of what we're up against. So, relying on you to make the calls, uh, just, you know, let us know what you need us to do. We got your back. Well, as far as I can remember, most of Pendrick Estate has its own personal security force. Um, whether or not they've changed as changed within the year, I don't entirely know. But it was always my father's interest to make sure that my brother would eventually be the head of the security force. Why, I'm not entirely sure. Most of it is just militarized staff, mercenaries who used to be a part of wars and whatnot. But all of them are loyal to my father and my mother, without a doubt. How? I don't know why. Aside from that, the state itself is... It's vast, it oh, can almost be like a maze if one doesn't know how to get around places. And... Well... This is actually something that's not really well known, but... My mother has made sure that... <laughs> it has a good amount of not only physical defenses, but... A few magical precautions as well. She's had her fair share of st studying, as far as I can remember. My father is more of a man of means, a man of business. He prefers if people get straight to the point, and one of the and trying to haggle into things is something that he is almost decently fluent in. The... my brother... Well, I mean, last time I saw him, he was just beginning his training as to be a warrior himself. To what end, I don't entirely know at this point. Like I said, for all I know, he could be in command of the security forces, or he could have gone and done his own thing. I am not entirely sure. As, uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. Do you think there's a chance that if he was head of security and... I don't know if maybe he was magically controlled or something. I don't know if that's a thing that people can do, but do you think we'd, would there be a chance that we'd have to do combat with? I certainly hope not. Ryan was the only member of the family that I enjoyed uh, the company of. I doubt my mother or my father would find a magical means of controlling the sun. Like I said, I was supposed to be the original heir to the Pendrick uh, fortune and name, but that would only take into true effect. That only was to the effect of it going to my future spouse now that i'm out of the, now that i've been out of the picture for a year for all i know orion could be 
the newly declared heir to the estate. To that extent, they wouldn't go through, they wouldn't do anything to make sure that concept was, would be tarnished. Though I will say that Orion's probably going to have probably been through a few more subtle politic lessons than he was he was, than he did before I left. Most of his stuff was more around. Most of his lessons were more around the business of being a Pendrick, while mine was more of the subtle mannerisms, uh, phrases, motions to. Be sure to have people sway to our belief, uh, notions, and that kind of thing. Well, um, yeah, it's good to it's good to know all that stuff. Um, I don't know. Just, uh... It just feels like... I don't know. Confronting... Or you having to see these people after quite some time away. And there was a reason when, you know, why you left. And then now you have to go back. I... I don't know. I feel bad. Don't get me wrong, I don't like the idea either, but we've all got to face our past, whether it's immediately in the f in the distant future. And as much as I like the idea of staying away from my parents, it's our best option of making sure that the whole world doesn't go to shit faster than we'd like. Yeah. Well. Like I said, you're calling the shots. And, um... Yeah. Just, uh... <sighs> I don't know what else there is to say. Let's give him hell, I guess. I'll agree to that. Alright. Um, Captain Bicke, if, if you're around anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, you were listening to that conversation, weren't you? And this is why I don't usually like pirates. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, don't get me wrong, your ship's useful. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I just, I wanted to say, like, um, I really appreciate your hospitality. Um, thanks for bringing us across the sea and shit. Um, and, uh, you know, again, if we ever need a destruction job, you will be the first one I call. Ah, you're not gonna let me... <laughs> you're not gonna let me take your ship for free? Uh, wait, okay. wait, wait, no, hold the fuck on. Frank. You're paying him 30 gold for this shit. It's not that bad, I feel like. Long story. I'm glad you at least haggled. <laughs> no, I don't. Big A, thanks out. so much for you. <laughs> Oh, uh, at least you were able to haggle it down. I'll give you that. But you could have been able to get it for 25. 
Okay. All right. As total. <laughs> total, I think. <laughs> no, no, big, no, no. No, man. I was trying to have a moment with you. I was trying to... <laughs> Listen. Uh, thank you so much for your hospitality and for your ship. Um, hey, I appreciate it. Um, 20 gold total. And I'll you... help you break into the Pendrick estate. <laughs> they probably deserve it, don't they? Oh, no. No, my parents absolutely fucking deserve it. Oh, man. Lovely. I gotta start letting... I got it. <laughs> oh, trust me, it'll be all yours to take just to see them gawk in fear. Oh, wow. That city. Oh. <laughs> I th Sorry, I'm Go. taking notes right now. Yeah. Franklin's like, wow, this is a beautiful city. Well, it's either that or my brother Orion. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we're twins. Me. Yeah. Hence the reason why I. Hence the reason why Nyx was decla uh, declared to be the heir first. Though. Political bullshit. <laughs> Political bullshit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now I'll I'll listen uh, to the YouTube video. Yep. Yes, sir.
Wrong choice. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit, like a little bit. Um, yeah, you see as Nyx is kind of walking off, uh, they're looking around, uh, seeing all of the machinery, all of the like commotion between the engineers and everything. And you can tell that this is the this is um, a little bit more of a comfortable spot for Nyx to be in. Um, You can, uh, and then Nick's just kind of gonna set, uh, or no, Nick's is gonna have, uh, their stuff, uh, kind of along their backs, uh, their bag at the side, Rebellion on the, uh, waist, Bright Eye kind of slung across their back, which is still a little weird to see because, again, in a dress with a gun, on the side, gun across the back, and a and a obvious like tinkering pack in a freaking teal dress covered in uh it, it, it looks a little worn looks a little worn than when they originally got it, but you, it's a little out of place, but. Nyx doesn't really care at this point. I don't think he has, but... Right. Franklin is kind of just walking down the street in awe. Um, just his eyes are wide. Um, he's trying to keep up with the pace of the group, but keeps getting distracted by like, what is that? And then just walks ahead and what's that? Just keeps on going. Um, but yeah, he's, you see, he's, you, Nix is kind of like directing, uh, Franklin, uh, it's like, that is a, that looks like it's a mining factory. That looks like it's a manufacturing for auto turrets. Oh yeah, that's a that that, that that's just a marketplace. <laughs> the, uh, these machines look incredible. It must take some time. What the hell? You grew. I mean, you spent a year around these things. This is incredible. Well, I spent most of my time more in the lower districts. Um, it wasn't easy for someone like me and for someone of like me to, uh, and without any sort of finances and residence to find a paying job in like any of these factories I mean yeah I imagine it must be hard to get a start here I mean competition is deep my goodness yeah normally you'd have to have a hefty recommendation to even have a chance to get a basic job in one of these factories. Um, like, I remember my father signed multiple letters of recommendation to various uh, students of engineering across Shinra. Um, but, no, the factory districts are definitely some of the most prosperous here in Midgar. Um, the lower districts have some, like the lower districts still have some uh, occupations that are able to provide a decent amount of coin to stay within a inn for a few days and whatnot. Um, 
like I mean aside from factory building you still have the markets who's that sell uh, meats produce clothing all that stuff um, those that's usually in sort of the market district has its own little section for that um, lower districts there's uh, folks who run taverns folks who run uh, inns and hotels, just little miscellaneous shops. And then there are also uh, shops that are usually open during the night. Uh, I honestly, I honestly think we should probably stay away from those, if you don't mind. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I'm following you, mostly, because this is my first time here, so I don't really know where to go, but, you know. I almost feel, a, almost feel out of place with this fucking... Big ass sword, right? Just walking around, just on my back. Oh no, there's like mercenaries that come to Midgar every once in a while. It's not really a main. Uh, this this section of the of the city isn't really much for heroics and whatnot. Uh, we might have a best chance of finding people like that in maybe the market districts or just even in the residential area where the taverns and inns are. Um, I do, I think I might know a place um, where we can at least stay here but, uh, so we can get transportation. Um, when I came, uh, when I came to Midgala a year ago and was able to get a decent paying job um I stayed in a tavern uh in in the sort of lower to middle district of Midgar uh the the man who ran it was very nice um can't quite remember his name off the top of my head I want to say it was uh, that I no, it wasn't Todd. Daryl, maybe? I don't know. It, it, it's it's either Todd or Daryl. I don't remember. Oh, well, um, it's it's good to have connections, for sure. Good to have a place to stay. Well, I mean, all, thing, all things considered, I looked very different back then, but... Well, uh... Oh, fuck. I forgot about that. Sorry, Biggs. <laughs> well, no, nothing against... Nothing against the Excalibur. It's an amazing... Uh, it's an amazing construct, and I'm still surprised you're able to compress it to that small. Wouldn't it be heavy? Enterprise... It, 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 fair enough. Still doesn't seem entirely possible. Like I don't really care about the magic BS of it. I've studied a few laws of. It. You know what? We're not going to get into this. But from an engineering standpoint, it should not be possible to condense something, even as small as the uh, even as small as the Enterprise. Something of that size, condensed to the size of a hockey puck, should be fairly heavy. Oh. Oh, no shit! Well, we'll see about that at this point. Um. No, we're balanced. Um. 
We can stay here for a day or two. Like I said, I know a tavern. Uh, I want to say it's called the Fifth Cog, something like that. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up right now. Never mind. <sighs> okay. In the month that I've spent in Midgar last year, what I have known about this. Yeah, Nyx is going to look at Biggs and it's like, oh shit, that's right, I forgot that's here. Is it a... Mean. Uh... Let's go to Seventh Heaven. Um, I just didn't know if you were referring to it in a good or bad way. Is it a pretty good place? into some of the I've ran into some of them once or twice um, actually in my early in the early parts of me trying to scrounge for money um, uh, I want to say it might have been it, it was one of it was either oh no the barkeep I don't know but one of them definitely uh, helped me with a few ruffian, uh, ruffians a while back. Um, we're just going to leave it at that. So I, I am familiar with 7th Heaven. Um, I guess we could head over there and say hi. Yeah, we can ask around. <laughs> yes, yep. sir. Uh, for starters, I'll have an ale. It's... I could definitely use an ale right now. Um, plus whatever these guys are having. Happen to have wine, perhaps? I'll just take a glass of red wine. And 
it, Nix is just kind of chuckling. It's like, well, considering what happened to the both of you after the drinking contest that one day, I'm not going to blame Wedge for getting water. But, I mean, still, you could have gone some, for something a little more basic. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I convinced these two to be a part of a drinking contest along with my buddy Frankie here and Evangeline over there. Um, these, uh, suffice to say that uh, they lost pretty quickly and it was fun. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, it was my idea. I've been, I, I have been to Midgar before, um, this, it, about a year ago, um, that I, I kind of changed a lot, um, used to have longer brownish hair, um, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Oh, no, none taken. Yeah, um, blame, b blame, blame Harpies. Uh, we just, uh, we came in on, from Bermissia and there was a Harpy attack while we were traveling. Yeah. No, no, I don't have a third hand. Um, no, but yes, we all made it in one piece, and we're just going to be staying here for a day or two before heading out. And like I said, it's been about a year since I've last been here. Um, actually, I don't know if you would remember or not, but uh, about a year ago... Uh, Someone who was working here helped me with a group of ruffians. Uh, uh, like I said, this was about a year ago. Um, I was I was getting mugged basically, and uh, it was not. And I don't like I said, it was one. It was someone working here. I don't remember who, but uh, someone and what. Uh, Worked that was working here managed to help help take uh, knock him out yada yada that whole thing oh um it's uh you can just call me Nix. No, uh, no, I went by Nyx when I hit Midgar. I've been good. Uh, been doing a lot of traveling, uh, a lot of uh, uh, basically a lot of traveling. Got wound up with this lot, and um, long story short, I'm there here with me on a quest to head back home. Um, I think it was a woman, uh, 
it was like I said, it was in the middle of the night. Um, I'd like us, and it was about a year ago. But I want to say it was a woman. Uh, I, I don't really remember much about it, but I remember there was a lot of punching. That, that that might have been it. Um, that, that that might have been her. Interesting. Um. I might stop by for a visit. Like I said, I've uh, got a little bit of time before I have to head out of Midgar. So I might end up uh, swinging by and saying hello. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Appreciate you. Nice. <laughs> Combined it to bitch. <laughs> hey, it's fine. You're country as the accent, huh? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, after the conversation, Nyx starts to sip the ale. Uh, just kind of see, you can see that look of slight relaxment and satis satisfaction is they go shit I forgot how good the ale was here Franklin leans back sips his wine and is like yeah the wine's not bad here either this is not a bad place Is there a dartboard that I, for some reason, <laughs> spent hours at? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, Nyx is just going to kind of smile. Uh look to Biggs and Wedge and kind of go you, you two didn't tell me that you'd been to Shinra before yeah well <laughs> yeah I did Biggs and Wedge yeah no, no it's your no worries Uh, Nyx was basically saying to Biggs and Wedge that uh, they never uh, told Nyx that uh, they'd been to uh, Midgar slash Shinra before. Oh, I guess that's I guess that's fair. I never really took that into consideration.
Nice, nice. Hey. So basically, mm. try and imagine the remake version of Seventh Heaven. Oh, damn. All right. Um. A mysterious pinball machine that might lead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Nix is going to look around and it's like, well, I will say that at least Midgar for certain is the largest, is the best city to learn more about engineering skills. Funny enough, um, I, I know I said this early before, but. Uh, after I left Midgar and was on a ferry, I did run into someone who was not necessarily an extent of an engineer as you guys, but he was more of a, you know, they were more of a, uh, more of a weapons engineer than anything. Um, loved making different uh, machinations of a more offensive capability that's fair that's fair I don't honestly think I got his name to begin with but he was the one that first helped uh, first gave me the designs to create uh, my pistol I mean granted they were a little different than what I made this for. Um, the original uh, schematics called for building it completely from scratch, whereas I took parts of the uh, parts of the schematics and basically integrated them to a flintlock pin pistol. Uh, very, very difficult. Uh, I ended up. It ended up exploding quite a lot, um, but yeah, no, the schematics for my pistol I got from this uh, person, and the idea of making explosives as well, uh, that was also from him. Well, I mean, it's possible. It's definitely not uncommon out here. Um, I, kn I do know that a few of the uh, military pers uh, not really military, but a few of the members of the security force that we're going to be dealing with definitely had a couple of these uh, gun swords as well. Um, I always found that they were a bit too clunky, in my opinion. Um, uh, granted, I'm not really one to wield a sword in the first place, and even if I did, I'd like something with a little more swish rather than stab, you know? That's fair. I might actually have to look into that. Which one's saying this, Biggs or Wedge? 
Of course, it's my buddy Biggs. <laughs> Nix is Nix is gonna look. At... <laughs> yeah, uh, Nix is gonna look to Biggs and is like, you know, that is an entirely fair. That's an entirely good point. And yeah, hold on one sec. Uh, goes through their bag, pulls out their notebook. A book, uh, a pencil, and starts like doing a really, really crude, rough draft of a couple of schematics. <laughs> oh God, no! Uh, but I mean, the idea of using a gun and a sword doesn't sound too bad an idea. But I mean, we'll just see. I do like the idea of being able to have the sword and the gun as part of one weapon. Like, as far as going full-on gunbreaker, the, I don't know. It's just, I know for certain that there are moments where a lot of people get a little too close for me to shoot them. I might actually want to do that. Um, it just kind of looks to Franklin and the others like a kid. Do you think we'll be able to have the time to do that before we head out to the estate? <laughs> well, seventeen-year-old remember? <laughs> like, well, I mean, yeah, if you want to, I don't see why not. I mean, we have a little bit of time because. You know, the world's descending to shit, but it's taken its time to do so, so we can stop by. Just kind of does a little, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Franklin, um, when he hears the concept of a gun and a sword together, he does the blinking white guy meme, he's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't... I'm not sure about that. Um, I think I'll, I'll, I'll be alright with just the sword. It's just, I haven't heard of it being combined before. That's astonishing. This city really does have it all. It is crazy. In terms of technology, at least, yeah. In terms of magic, well, not entirely. This isn't really the most arcane of places. I mean, there are some who are able to create... Uh, to, there are some that use um, the arcane through engineeric abilities but it's not really true magic i mean basically it's just basically them creating devices that give off properties almost similar to magic if not using the magic as a conduit um I just don't know what else to say. I'm just so impressed by everything. It's just so shocking. I mean, I could see you. I could see you at wielding a gunblade as well. Mm 
That that is true. Could, we could get you like one of those big ones that deal one of those big swords that have those like big gun those big gun chambers on them. Ooh. Okay. Well. Okay. Well. Uh. Eh. Why a shield? Basically, t- basically you get a s- giant sword, and basically load like a freaking hand mortar on it and boom turn that into a weapon I am a rat with just a sword (laughs) (laughs) oh no 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 that'll no no. I'm I'm (laughs) alright I'll I'll tinker I'll at least tinker with a gun blade, get something a little swish. Hey. <laughs> oh. In this season of American Idol. Bye. Very well.